What's happening, Outdoor Panda? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this Twad 12 by 50. So it's a 12X by, uh, I think, a 15 millimeter tube. Monocular. It's used for outdoors. Let's check it out. True unboxing here. Ooh, look at this. It comes with a little tripod, which is actually nice, especially on high power magnification, uh, just holding it in place. You know, if you don't have optical image stabilization, it can be tough. So you get this little cheap tripod, uh, the screw on top for kind of your standard uh, camera mounting. Looks like you have a little ball joint right there. Um, this kind of screws up. Look, if you look at the this little base plate, that will tighten it down. And then this is rubber up here. I've used these before. And then you use this to kind of tighten uh, and uh, press this, kind of hold this um, little tower piece in place. So you loosen it up and it'll move around. You tighten it down and it won't, just like that. And then you have three little legs, like any tripod that pop out. And I think they have little extensions right there. I've used these in the past, they're pretty nice. Probably the, the worst part about these is that these legs kind of collapse under pretty, um, pretty lightweight sometimes so you're kind of usually used to for you're forced to use it in this kind of configuration but that's pretty cool comes with that and then in here looks like we also have instructions and a little microfiber cloth and then in here we have the monocular as you can see it's kind of about the size of I don't know, a little smaller than a coke can it appears to be it comes in like this little fake velvet uh pouch little drawstring there let's open it up sounds like it's in plastic yeah, it's in a little plastic bag here with a, a silky gel. All right, so boom, there she is. It looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a night vision monocular that I used to have. And rubberized caps on the front, very flexible rubberized caps. And there's the there's the business end of it. As you can see, pretty pretty awesome. Camp is tethered. Looks like you can pull it off if you want, right? You can take that all the way off. And then you have a cap on the back here. And this is not tethered. Then you have the, uh, the eyepiece there. And then this would be... Yep. Okay, so this rotates so you can have some fine adjustment which will kind of change the eye relief distance for you and then I'm assuming this is the focus right so boom whoa uh, and we're probably just gonna be too close to anything to be able to use it here like this and then is this obviously unscrews and I guess that is their mounting point for the tripod should you want to do that so it must be Feels like it's not really the balance point for it, but you can certainly do that. Looks like there's a pass-through hole there if you wanted to use a lanyard with it. Let me see if I can just set it up here on the table and then we'll take it outside and try it. Okay guys, so outside shooting through the monocular, um, I've kind of dialed it in on focus. Sorry for the shakiness of it. I'm holding the monocular up in my iPhone just to the eyepiece, so hardly an ideal um, set up here but just kind of want to show you what it looks like as I kind of pan around um, I there's an opening between the trees there to some trees further back and I can't do the adjustment on the focus here but um, you know pretty clear and uh, what's impressive is I can see the detail of the leaves and even like the pine needles there now let's just pull it away here and just see with the naked eye and what we're looking at that's you know we were looking right at these trees here between these leaves and the needles on that tree so um, I think pretty impressive you know 12x and definitely useful and it's nice and small so if you're gonna go out on a hike or outdoors and you want to just take something that's a lot smaller than you know a pair of binoculars uh, this works great you know you have to make that adjustment is what I found out and then this works great for just kind of being able to adjust the focus with the thumb so really really cool piece I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing I'll put a link to it in the description Peter Von Panda out